Hello, my name is Barbara DeWitt. I'm a National Wildlife Federation steward with the Broward County Audubon Society. Hummingbirds come in different sizes and different colors. Uh, basically, they have long bills or long beaks uh, with tongues that come out to, uh, to uh, lap up the nectar, but they're from as small as the bee hummingbird, which is uh, from Cuba at 2.2 inches, to the giant hummingbird that is found in South America as far south as southern Chile and, and Patagonia, and that is about eight inches long and has a wingspan of 11 inches. So that feeds in, in higher, it's a bulkier, and it feeds in higher um, elevations up to 16,000 feet. And actually its bill is so big that when it perches, its bill's held up because it's a heavy bill, and so it perches with its, which, with its bill held up in a, in a ver, uh, almost vertical position. Uh, and they're very easy to spot because they're so big. Um, the smaller hummingbirds can dart in and out, like uh, the calliope hummingbird, that is one from the western U.S., is quite small, and our smallest one here in the U.S. The giant hummingbird, the way to find that in South America is go to the areas where the flowers are that it feeds on because it has such a big bill that when those flowers are blossoming, that's where you'll find the, the giant hummingbird. Uh, here in the United States, we would look the same. We would look for the ruby-throated where the flowers with the tubular flowers are blooming.